Hey everyone, welcome back for another JSA TV interview live here in Leesburg, Virginia for DCD Virginia, which is an amazing event that we're always so happy to be be at. We are on day one here and I am very excited to be joined by a new guest for us, but not a new company. We, uh, of course, have had the pleasure of interviewing Relco many times in the past on JSA TV, but not you, Nicole, yourself. So, uh, Nicole Dirk Seide, you are Global Category Director of Large Power for Relco. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Candace. It's great to be here. And I agree, it's very exciting. There's a lot of energy That's right. here right now. Yeah. And, I, you know, I've kind of been stuck in this little corner, like we were talking about earlier, but I can see it, I can feel it, I can hear it. And uh, as soon as we, we wrap up a couple more interviews, I'm going to take a lap around, which I'm sure you've yep. done this morning Absolutely. already. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to take a few more. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Okay. Well, so let's get right to it. Um, uh, can you tell us a little bit, because you know we ha our audience hasn't heard from you directly, can you tell us a little bit about your uh, role at RELCO? Absolutely. Yeah. As mentioned, I'm our global category director at Power Systems for Relco, and what that really means is I'm responsible for the product and the marketing side of all of our large diesel offerings. So 700 kilowatt and above, um, making sure we have the right product, the right solutions for our customers. And I've been with the company for 15 years. Oh, awesome. Yeah, so well, it's been really fun to, to be a part of that journey, growing into, right, as the data center space has exploded, being a part of that explosion. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Well, they must be doing something right that, you know, you've stuck around for 15 yeah. years. Uh, I know it's uh, an awesome company to work for. Um, okay. So we know, of course, we're hearing a lot about the importance of backup uh, power for data centers, um, but the maintenance routines kind of fall under the radar a little bit, right? Um, so um, can you set the scene for us a little bit about why, how we exercise generators is so important? Yeah, right. If you think about it fundamentally, right, a backup power generator, you can think of it like an insurance policy. Mm -hmm. And, right, you have your primary power, usually utility, although we're all getting more creative these days on what provides that primary power. But there's still times when that's going to go down, um, unforeseen or maybe even planned, right? So you want to have that backup power generator there in case of emergency. And so if you think of it as insurance policy, you want to make sure it's always going to start. Yeah. That is the intent. And just like, think of your car, right? And if you leave your car sit in your garage for extended, long extended periods of time and you walk out, you don't really expect it to start, right? right. It kind of needs to be maintained and certain things done. Backup generators are very similar. Mm -hmm. So, right, if they sit for very long extended periods of time with nothing being done to them, right, that you could be adding risk for the ability for them to start. So it's really important to maintain them, right? And... Traditionally, um, we've done, say, let's do a, a monthly exercise and people will run them. And that's just giving you that assurance. Everything's operating. Everything's working fine. Right. Amazing. Very important. Um, okay. And then also, can you talk a little bit about your conscious care approach at Relco and why, uh, what's different about that compared to the traditional routine that many operators are using right yeah, now? Absolutely. With conscious care, we looked at how can we be smarter about doing maintenance. So sometimes it's, oh, because we've always done it this way, this is what we always do. But the reality is behind the monthly maintenance and how they were exercised during that maintenance, there was a technical reason. However, that technical reason was based on 30, 40 years ago, not on some of the current technology we have today. So we revisited looking at the maintenance, also knowing that Right, when you get to these, to doing maintenance, sometimes it can be a lot, right, just to do it monthly. And if you have 50, 60, 70 backup gen sets on site, that's, that's a, a lot. lot to keep going, right, and doing every month, especially if you're gonna do it under load, I'll talk about that in a second, um, right, it can become a really big task to do. So we went back and revisited and looked at the technology with our KD series gen sets. Um, they're highly fuel efficient in their operation. And so we're able to offer what we call conscious care, which allows us to exercise the gen set, but not have load. So you can do it as an unloaded exercise. And the key there is with the prior technology and right, kind of the, the way things are always done, you'd always put load. Typically, people said about 30% load because you want to make sure you get the entire exhaust system up to high enough temperature that when there's excess fuel coming through the exhaust system that wasn't spent in the cylinder, that it's burning off and not building up and call, calling what we call wet stacking. But we have such high efficiency of fuel burn in the KD series that we're able to say you can run your exercise without any load. 
we're still going to recommend annually run with load, right? And just make sure the whole system is has has gone through that type of exercise. But now with conscious care, you have the option. You could do it monthly, or you could actually extend and go just every four months. Okay. To do that exercise. Yeah. Amazing. Well, thank you. Yeah, that's great. Great to know about. Um, and then also, there's a, a great number here that I want to read off. Relco has noted that there are up to 76% reductions in fuel use and carbon emissions with these updated maintenance mm -hmm. programs that you offer. So can you kind of walk us through what drives those uh, savings and how they're translating at scale for these, you know, massive sites that we're talking about these days. Yeah, absolutely. It's pretty exciting to hear that kind of percentage, right? right? And that savings is related to the, the maintenance and the exercise cycle. So as I mentioned, with conscious care, you don't have to operate with load. So now you're putting less load on the generator, which means you're consuming less fuel, right? And then you're also emitting less CO2 into the, in, to the atmosphere with your emissions by having that no load. And again, if you go just every four months instead of every month, right, even less that you're actually running that gen set. So those savings can really add up over that year. There are other savings as well. Um, even if you think of that, we didn't, we didn't account for the savings in the fact of it's less CO2 and other emissions with less fuel burn to produce that fuel, yeah. right, and distribute. So just general lower consumption. And then also the savings for operators, right? You're not paying for that fuel, uh, depending how they have their, their testing set up when they've done monthly with load banks. Sometimes it's the rental of a load bank and bringing it on site, et cetera. So the savings can add up really fast. Amazing. Well, great. Well, the savings should have people's ears perking up, right? A little bit. Um, so and all of this has been uh, fascinating. Thank you for sharing all of that with us, Nicole, and, and for joining us on JSA TV for the first time. You're a natural. Um, and thank you to our audience for hanging out with us here live at DCD Virginia. Happy networking, everyone. We'll see you soon.